today. I mentioned earlier on in the week that I was going to share some of the mindful exercises that I've learned over the last few years um, and that have been useful to me. So uh, the first one I thought I'd share with you is how to draw a mandala. So a mandala is a Sanskrit word and really it just means circle. And it's a generally a circular pattern which starts from the centre and then makes its way out to the to the outer edge. So many cultures have used the mandala. Um, it's been used for hundreds of years by loads of different cultures, um, mostly the Tibetans and the Buddhists and the Hindus um, and also the Native Americans and the Aborigines have used them too. So, um, and they've used them for different reasons, um, mainly as a form of meditation, but also a way of healing and a way of prayer as well. So I think creating mandalas is a really great way, really fun way to de-stress, relax and just really calm the mind and bring yourself into, into the present moment. So you just need um, a few things before we start. So um, you'll need a pencil, uh, a rubber, a sharpener, um, a compass, a protractor and a ruler. First thing you need to do is draw some, the centre circle. So if you're very particular, you might like to find measure the middle of the page. I'm not that particular, so I will just guess by my eye what is the centre. Um, so we'll just start by drawing a small uh, circle in the middle. And then from there, we'll just... Uh, so you've got one ring now so from there I think we'll draw five rings and um, we'll draw five rings all together so we just need to draw four more rings and it doesn't matter how far apart they are just go with what you think so I've got three there four and then Five. So it should, if you can't quite see that very well, which will lift it up, hopefully. Something like that. Hopefully you can see that. And then from here, we need to segment the circle. So using the protractor, we need to put that middle cross at the bottom where the vertical and the horizontal line cross. We're just going to put that on your where your compass point is, very roughly so that bottom line is horizontal. And from the, the protractor, we're just going to mark out the uh, the segment. So we're going to start with naught degrees, and then it will be 45 degrees, then 90 degrees, then 135 degrees, and then 180. So from there, once you've got those marks, we're just going to flip the protractor so we've now got and get that center cross back on your mid middle dot that's in the middle of your circles and we're going to match up you should already have the marks for naught degrees and the mark for 180 degrees so if you line those up all you'll need to mark is 45 degrees 90 degrees one, three, five, and then you've already got the 180. So the marks should look a little bit like, I don't know if you can see it that well on the screen or not, a bit like that. Okay, so now we just need to use our ruler and we're just going to join all those marks together. So you should be creating... Like almost like a uh, dartboard, I suppose. So just try and make sure the lines all cross in the centre. And then you should have, I'm hoping you can see that. All we're going to do is just start adding patterns in between the segments. So 
usually mandalas are started from the center so we're, i'm just going to draw start drawing a pattern in the middle you can draw anything you like within that segment as long as you repeat it within the other segments of the circle okay so that's what i've chosen to do for my center of my mandala but you can choose whatever whatever you want so from here then you just work ring at a time um, i tend to work between the lines so in the space between the segments but you can work with the lines if that if you prefer so um so we're working on the second ring so again another pattern but again whatever shape you want and as long as you're repeating so I'm just doing three, three petals in each segment here. So I shall show you that if it's not very clear. And it doesn't have to be exact. You can be exact if you want. <laughs> but I don't tend to. It's quite nice if it's a little bit quirky. That's what I say anyway. So that's what I've done for my second ring. I've just done some little petals. And then you just work your way to the outer circle. So the next one, I might want to do one big kind of petal again. I don't know, apologies if you can't see that well while I'm doing it. But I shall show you, and this is quite this is, I am trying to go quite fast so I can, so it's not too boring. <laughs> anyway, there's the third ring. Again, feel free to be totally creative and create your own thing. As long as you repeat what's in between each segment, it will, it will look, it will look great. And it's not about, it's not about what it looks like either. It's um, more about enjoying the actual moment of just drawing and letting your, creative side just free for a while so um i'm gonna go with the fourth ring now and while you're doing it just try try to just think about what you're doing rather than letting your mind wander too much about what you might be cooking for dinner or just try and enjoy enjoy the moment you're in you might like to just notice your breathing and just make sure you're not holding your breath too much it's meant to be enjoyable it's not meant to be a stressful thing so just enjoy just enjoy it and that's my fourth fourth ring um here's one i created earlier so i didn't have to and that's what I chose for my fifth ring just some more petals at the, around the edge but again you'll just choose you'll create whatever whatever you feel like creating so once you've got put that down there. so once you've got your shape and pencil that's just like the basic your basic shape and once you've got that got a black fine line pen ideally it doesn't if you're going to paint i in the fine line pen needs to be waterproof if you're not going to paint and just maybe you might want to color it in pe colored pencils or um you might not want to color it in at all um but if you're going to use paint definitely use a waterproof um a waterproof pen so we're going to start just penning over the pencil marks that you've made And again, don't worry about it being too exact. It just doesn't really need to be. Nothing's perfect. If you if you wanted it perfect, you could do it in the computer. But this is just all about creating and just being in the moment and trying not to just think about too many other things. So um, I've started just penning that little bit in the middle. And again, here I have one that I've totally penned in for the next stage. Um, 
and then from here you might want to start adding some more uh just a bit more detail um and it can but you can just keep going and going because you can just keep adding lines and i'm gonna from here you might like to make we just might just like to add some lines in just to give it a bit more interest and again don't worry about it being too perfect just enjoy creating lines and you'll probably surprise yourself about how good it actually will look because it does tend to even if it's a certain bit's not perfect it all balances out in the end and it usually looks really nice so from here you might like to add uh, leaf shapes in And there's so much once you've got your basic shape i'm using going straight into pen but you can do it in pencil first and then add the pen if you're not so confident um or you can just go for it with the pen so i've got one here which i've finished penning and adding all the a little bit more intricacy to it um you could keep going further than this but obviously we've got a bit of not that much time so um i'm just done a fairly simple one here um and then from here the really fun bit you can start adding the color um i'm going to use paint today just because that's what i've got here on my desk um but you can use you can color it in color pencils are nice or watercolor pencils are nice um anything you want or you might just want to keep it black and white um i'm gonna add a little bit of paint because i've got these here so okay so i'm just gonna add in um add in some color Uh, I should say first actually um, what you what you will want to do now at this point is uh, rub out rub out all the lines that you don't want anymore pretty much there I think and then just gonna get going with adding some color again you can be quite exacting do it quite neatly i'm not a very neat person so i tend to just blob the paint on <laughs> but i quite like i quite like a loose kind of a loose kind of finish a loose style i suppose so i tend to just do it quite roughly because i quite like the way it looks um but you might want to do it really neatly Feel free to do whatever you feel like doing. But again, just try and enjoy and just try and relax. And just bring, every now and then, bring your attention just to your breath and just make sure that you're breathing and not holding your breath. And that'll just keep everything, keep everything flowing nicely. Okay. So I have got one. I've started just adding some colour there. And here's one uh, I finished earlier. So that's the mandala I created today. It's quite a simple one, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how to create them. I do have a book that I've created called Mindful Mandalas Colour and Create Your Own, which have mandalas that I've designed for you to colour and then go on to describe step by step how to create your create your own mandalas as well uh, it gives you a guide of exactly how to do that so it make, might make a nice gift for somebody or a little reminder of how to create them 
Um, the book on its own is 950 and it comes in a little canvas canvas bag or the book within the bag and with all the kit you need is 1450. So the kit includes a ruler, coloured pencils, a pencil, a protractor, a pen, rubber, sharpener and a compass. So everything you need to create your own mandala. So thank you for, for watching if you made it to the end and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll take something from it. Um, I just think they're a, they're a great way to unwind and de-stress and just bring, forget about everything else and just bring everything, bring your attention just right into the, into the moment. So thanks again and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.